The Farms.com Wheat Report is brought to you by Altitude FX and BASF Canada. Hi, my name is Allison Friesen. I'm the BASF Technical Service Specialist for the Southern Saskatchewan area. Uh, so talk to you today a little bit about our Clearfield production system. Uh, we have a great line of uh, chemicals available from just the start to the finish with this type of uh, production system. So Clearfield wheat uh, is great in a lot of growers fields just to add a new uh, variety in as well as a new mode of action uh, in where cereals are grown quite often. Uh, we start our portfolio from the beginning where we look at seed treatments. So Ensure Cereal is registered for all varieties of wheat as well as barley and oats. Uh, it's a great product for controlling seedborne diseases uh, and with the conditions we had last year we saw a lot of quality losses uh, due to things like fusarium head blight so we saw a lot of low quality seed coming out this year as well. Uh, we really encourage growers to get their seed analyzed and to make sure they looked both at seed germination and vigor as well as that pathogen analysis to see if they had any infection. Uh, so trying to start the crop off right in any production system is always important and we really encourage growers to use the seed treatment to get their seed off to the right start. So at BSF we offer Ensure Cereal as a, as a product that can be used as a seed treatment in cereal crops uh, and it has great control over seedling diseases like Fusarium, Rhizoctonia and Cochleobulus. I, I have a couple samples here that you can look at as well. So in these samples, we can actually see on my left hand side, the Ensure Cereal Treated Wheat. Uh, you can see really nice coverage, that nice red coloring. So again, with seed treatments, when you do have infection, it's really important to get full coverage of that seed and keep it up at those rates. Uh, you can also see uh, with the root formation to keep an eye when looking at untreated wheat as well uh, for any infection levels that you can see. So to make sure you assess the root system to see if there's any lesions as well as the upper shoot system. System. because when seed is infected or even in your soil profile if you have high inoculum levels it can infect the plant both above and below the ground and cause serious injury to your crop so it's also really important to use a seed treatment to get that crop off to a nice even stand so the added benefits of something like Ensure Cereal is not only that optimal disease protection that you're looking for as well as uh, more consistent even emergence in the field. So making sure that your crop is off to a fairly even start can really help you at that herbicide timing as well uh, where you want all the, the seedlings to be around the same stage. Uh, so when we look at a clear field production system for wheat, uh, that three to six leaf stage is optimal timing for things like Altitude FX and Altitude FX2. Uh, these chemicals are great in the clear field system because they provide great control of other volunteer barley and wheats that you wouldn't get in a conventional system. You also get great control of some harder to control weeds like hep nettle and chickweed as well with that uh, group 2 component. So it's a really great uh, system to work with from a herbicide standpoint uh, but what we really want to encourage growers to think about is also the fungicide component in cereals. Uh, with the drier weather it's been a bit more difficult getting these crops off to a good start but for those fields that have and are looking to have high potential it's really important to protect these as well. Uh, we highly recommend the application of twin line at the flag leaf timing just to get that optimal disease control and protection of that flag leaf which can ensure higher yields for you in the end. So twin line at flag leaf timing is a great opportunity to control things like septoria, uh, tan spot and even some of the leaf rust that we have he been hearing are coming in from the south. Uh, so with twin line it's a great uh, start to a fungicide program but with increasing levels of fusarium head blight that we're seeing in this area uh, due to the wetter weather and due to the higher inoculum loads and that tighter rotations with cereal it's also very important to come in at that head time, heading timing with something to protect it from something like fusarium head blight. Caramba is a great product for this. Uh, we highly recommend it at 20% flower just to get that optimal timing for disease uh, control of something like Fusarium. Uh, Fusarium is very diff difficult to uh, suppress in lots of wheat varieties, especially Durham, which is the most susceptible of the groups. Uh, so getting into that timing can be more difficult. 
It's not like your canola crop where you can drive by the field and say, oh, we're at 20% flower, let's go. It's very important to actually get out and about in your field and see where you are because flowering is very small and hard to identify in a lot of cereal crops. It's important also to look to, at what crop you're looking at and where it flowers from. So a wheat will flower from the middle out. So if you're starting to see flowers just at the ends, you're probably already a little late on your timing. So it's important to get in there fairly consistently and look and make sure you're at that 20% uh, timing for application of something like Caramba to get optimal, optimal control of that fusarium in your field. The Farms.com Weed Report has been brought to you by Altitude FX and BASF Canada. Visit www.clearfield.ca wheat for more cereal solutions.